Hi there, it is Dr. Al at the Chatsworth Psychiatric Institute. It was brought to my attention that Emily, Pammy's assistant, has been sitting in Pammy's car during these therapy sessions and I felt that that was not very um, egalitarian and I invited Emily in for the session today and it seems Emily was uh, amenable. How are you today, Emily? I'm so good. Thank you so much for having me you here. You are welcome. And taking me out of the car because I needed a little pee break. Yes. Well, I was worried about you. Yeah, we have a litter box in the back of the trunk that I sometimes use when she's here for too long okay. and it's getting full. <laughs> so. Okay. Uh, Pammy, how are you today? I'm feeling so hashtag blessed because Emily, as you know, is the person who got me to come to therapy and I just In the feel, first place. Yeah, and I feel like I've had so many breakthroughs and I'm so like honored to have you here. Like, yeah. This is my life and like this is the girl who runs my life. I understand that. I hear a lot about what you do, Emily, and, and I know that Pammy is very grateful for all of the things you do. The shopping, the yeah. you even eat for her on occasion. Yeah, it shows on camera too, I bet. Sorry. No. Oh my God, don't apologize for anything ever. Have you two learned the word codependent ever before? Yes, that means... Okay, oh, what does it mean, Pammy? It means when, when you, you have, have a friend, feeling and you, you eat it. It. Mm. it does not have to do with feelings or eating. It has to do when you have a relationship and one person is allowing the other person to have issues yeah. by continuing them. For instance, your issues with food, Emily helps you by being codependent, by eating your food for oh my you. God. Right? Oh my God. Emily, how do you feel about eating food for Pammy? Um, sometimes I like it when it's like sugar fish which is like sushi. Uh -huh. And then sometimes when she gets like weird cravings, um, I don't love it. And she makes you eat she it makes while me she eat like, watches. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes um, over the sink, which I really kind of, you know, I feel like is really like barbaric. That's a very big word. I know, I saw it on a TV show. I think Kim Kardashian used it last what night. What does it mean, Emily? It means like when you're kind of like Barbie and you're just kind of like really um, like really out there and out of control. Like the Eric, like it's the Barbie and the Eric. And Barbie's and like, my hair is crazy. <laughs> and he's like, eat it. And she's like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Why are you sad? Oh no, honey. Did you get a divorce? I'm scared for the world. Me too. Yeah. Oh my God, I was watching Bachelor in Paradise last night when I had my 10 minute no, break. No, Emily, oh. not because of Bachelor, because you guys are so dumb. How do you live? I have Emily. But Emily's dumb. Emily I, handles everything. She's actually brilliant. You're judging a book by its cover, which has happened to me so many times in my life. People want to hate us because we're beautiful. But here's the deal. I have never hated you because you're beautiful. I, I don't even hate you. Differ. Oh, really? Do you think I hate you because you're beautiful? I didn't come here to start a fight. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, Emily. Emily. Well, I didn't I mean didn't... to call you dumb, but I just sometimes can't handle the fact that... You were, use words the Kardashians use and you don't even know what they mean. Don't worry, Emily. I'm going to burn her with my eyes. Oh my God. That really does hurt.